six signs you have a spiritual gift. We all have an innate ability to strengthen our intuition and receive spiritual guidance. The first step is simply being aware that you have a gift. The more you welcome the knowledge that you are already receiving guidance, the stronger and more recognizable your messages can become. Notice if you have experienced the following sensations and take these quick action steps to encourage them to surface in more powerful, positive, and effective ways. Here are six signs you have a spiritual gift. 1. You read into your dreams on the regular. We are in our most vulnerable state while sleeping, so dreams are an easy place for us to receive messages. If you are someone who often remembers your dreams, don't take it for granted. Write them down in a journal to see if anything comes to fruition. The more open you are to receiving lessons and guidance through sleep, the more likely it will come to you in that form. 2. You have visions and they often come true. This could be a premonition, a feeling you get when speaking to someone, or just a random image that pops into your mind at any given moment. For example, let's say you're pulling out of the driveway and all of a sudden you feel uncomfortable as an image of an accident pops into your head. It might be a good idea to use a different route than normal or wait until you feel safe to take that drive to work. Better safe than sorry since premonitions can be a form of communication intended to protect you and keep you safe from harm. Notice whether you have any emotional attachment to your visions as well. This is an easy way to see if there is more to the thought than meets the eye. 3. You have a 4 a.m. bathroom habit. Before we continue this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel to see other useful health videos. You thought you were waking up at the crack of dawn to go pee every morning, but it might be something else. In certain spiritual realms, waking up between 3 and 4 a.m. on a regular basis is thought to be a huge sign that there are spirits looking to communicate with you. This time is often referred to as the spiritual or connection hour. Embrace it. If you are waking up consistently at the same time every morning, allow yourself to simply sit up and receive even if it's just for a moment or two. Maybe go into another room if that feels more comfortable to you. You may not get anything at first but with practice, information will start flowing through you in the form of thoughts, sensations, memories, or emotions. 4. Nightmares keep you tossing and turning. Children are thought to be the ones among us who are most aware of the spirit realm, so it's no surprise they often have nightmares. When we sleep, we go into a brainwave state similar to how we did when we were young. If there are spirits out there trying to reach you, they may try at first to gently wake you up, like I mentioned in the last point, but if that doesn't do the trick, they may turn to nightmares. If nightmares are jolting you awake, open your eyes and say to whoever it is, if you are of the light, I am awake and here to listen to what you would like to share. See what comes up. 5. You're extremely empathetic. Sometimes, the emotions we experience do belong not to us but to someone else we know. We can even pick up on other people's physical sensations and pains. For example, a while ago I was having intermittent pains in my sight so excruciating that I thought I might have to go to the hospital. These pains continued on and off throughout the day until 10 p.m., when I got a call from my best friend's mother to find out that my poor pregnant friend had been admitted to the ER because of a blood clot and she had almost lost her baby. As soon as I learned the news, all random pains disappeared. Others' experiences are not necessarily anything that we as individuals need to worry about, though you could use them as signs that you need to check in with your loved ones or call home. Also, every time you feel grumpy or sad, ask if these emotions are even yours. 6. You have a strong intuition. When I'm asking people a question, I frequently answer in my head before I even hear them respond. Some people hear voices. Others feel the thought pop up in their mind, 
and others feel a response in their heart. It doesn't matter how the messages are coming to you. What matters is that you're conscious of them. When random thoughts pop into your mind or voices speak to you, listen. Don't brush them off. Start to pay attention to when things feel good and when they feel awful. Let's say for example, you imagine yourself hanging out with your friends and laughing hysterically. What do you feel in your body while thinking about this experience? Then picture yourself having the worst day of your life, whatever that is for you, and feel into what your body shares with you during that moment. As you turn to your being with questions on a regular basis, the good and bad feelings will become more prominent. Always remember to be grateful for your body and the messages it's giving you. As you embrace them with praise, you are strengthening the opportunity of receiving more information with a greater ease. Thank you. 